The following is a clip from the highly acclaimed educational radio program, The White Riot Show. Is it possible right now that Rand Paul somehow works his way into the conversation in 2016 based on this, either for president or vice president, or just becomes and, a power broker. and then influences the party direction? Sure. Because now, don't forget, he's also got Cruz, he's got Rubio, he's got Lee. He's got these guys all working together with him now, working off conservative slash libertarian principles. Yeah, he's really a libertarian, though. No, I understand. He's a libertarian. And he's got a couple of other libertarians, but he's also got more hardline conservatives. Certainly not moderates. Not, certainly not people who think the party has to move to the center, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, oh right. Okay. And isn't it interesting that Mitch McConnell came up to support his fellow Kentucky senator, the, ju- the senior senator from Kentucky, Mitch McConnell, came out to support the junior senator, Rand Paul, at midnight, midnight 1 a.m., after he was able to survey six, seven hours of the filibuster, right. saw that it was gaining was popularity in Twitter, yeah, I don't like saw that, that a Democrat ran in, and then he ran in and said, let me help my young colleague from the yeah. great state of Kentucky. Yeah, that's, well, that's why he's a politician. How about you go he's fuck a, yourself at that point? That, that, that's why he's a politician. But that's what I'm trying I, I to get at. I can't stand that. Mm. Is it possible, in your opinion, and we're just talking here because there's no real fact to this, is it possible that we, 20 years from now, if you and I are still alive, we'll say, that's another Goldwater moment? It could be. Yeah, yeah, the only other problem that Rand Paul is going to have is he's made a few comments over the past couple of years that got him into a little trouble. Um, and this is such a media error with the Internet and like all shit that like Barry Goldwater right. would never have had to put right. up with. Right. You know, so it, unfortunately, they can see every pimple you've ever had. That's OK. But, Look, if but, Barack Obama got elected after smoking it, pot and shit and like that, it's and coke. Yeah. Right. But it, it, could this be a watershed moment that philosophically really, it could be? Yeah, it could be. In fact, I, I, I see exactly where you're going with it. Yeah. And every movement needs that moment, that one spot that, in history, that, that one point yes. in history. You, you always But you have to have something that becomes the turning point. Like a lot of people frustrated with Obama. They don't like a lot of stuff. And here's this guy, really a libertarian on principle. Um, I mean, that's why I like him. Um, but not as harsh as his dad. So Ron Paul is a hardcore libertarian who's like, I mean, I mean, Rand Paul has already started to like work a little bit within the system. So, for example, voting for Hegel. Yeah. Right. His father would never vote for Hegel. I can almost guarantee you Ron Paul would never vote for Hegel. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm wondering if. No, yeah, no you're, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. They uh, uh, somebody once made a joke about Ron Paul. They said, uh, you know, when they asked the presidential candidates, like, if you were a tree, what would you be? Yeah. They, they once said, uh, they asked the, all the candidates who were running in the field, if you were a superhero, who would you be? Right. And they said, well, Ron Paul couldn't be one because his powers aren't enumerated in the Constitution. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> so he, he's yeah. a real believer. Yeah, don't, don't get he, me wrong. I respect Ron Paul's principled yes. stand. Yes, but I his do. son, I think, has gotten the best qualities of his dad, while at the same time being more pragmatic. More practical, being but, a but well, he's modern, and it's more modern. He's, yeah, he's yeah. modern. He's a, he's a man of his yeah. times, like right. Ron Paul. He represents the old day school. And age that, yeah. he, that he came from. He's from Texas or whatever. Um, I really it ho- could be. It, yeah. it could be. It could be that kind of moment. I really hope that in 2016 there is a conservative faction, whether it's the Tea Party, whether it's the Libertarian Party, that really pushes the the Republican you Party have a problem and you. drags it back to the right side. Because whether it's Rand Paul. Rubio, because people are talking up Rubio because he's Hispanic. He can bring in the Hispanic vote to the party and yeah. things like that. Um, he's probably a little bit more religious, and he can you know he can talk to people I, on that I, level. I, actually, I think he's very Catholic. Right, but, uh, but my point is yeah, maybe he's a better candidate. Do you know? Like, I mean, if you were yeah. just talking about someone yeah, to run, see, that's just the thing. I don't. Want, I'm not. You know, don't get me wrong. I'm not dumping on religious people, but Goldwater didn't have to put up with that. No, he even didn't. Reagan didn't have to. No. A lot of that was post there. You know, guys like Goldwater and Reagan couldn't get the nomination in today's party. I mean, you know, they they, they want people like Bush. They want people like Bachman. Right. They they want the people like Santorum. Right. And you know, you got these guys like, uh, you know, like uh, Rand. I I don't know, you know, if he fits that mold. And I think you're going to have a very serious division. But you may have to have that Democrats butting heads, and that's what I'm saying by what you call the watershed moment. Yeah. That this is the type of thing. That drives people to say, listen, unless we want to see more Obamas, unless we want Hillary in 2016. Right. We got to get together. We got to get together and decide what's more important. Winning and getting. Winning and being free from government tyranny or insisting that we exclude gays, put our moral beliefs on everybody else in the country. 
Join us every week at www.whiteriotshow.com to follow the latest exploits of Big Fat John and Judo Larry M. This is Mark, the man with the golden voice. And my testicles are killing me. Bye.